on how I get my enormous ballerina bun and I've actually created this using my clip and extensions so you don't even need really long hair yourself you just need a set of clip and extensions in order to make this really big bun if you are blessed with long and luscious locks then this will be completely easy for you and you don't have to do any of the first couple steps that I do anyways if you guys want to learn how to make my big ballerina bun keep on watching I know this is a weird angle, but I needed to be able to show you guys the height on top of how I do my bun, so it was kind of necessary. Um, you need a hair donut or a sock or anything like that that you are wanting to use. Um, Lola kind of got a hold of mine, so mine's a little bit ravaged, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you'll also obviously need a brush. You will need, if you're using clip-in extensions like I will be, you'll need two um, elastics. If you're not needing to use extensions, then you don't need two elastics, just need one. And of course you need a bunch of bobby pins. So let's get started. First what I'm going to do is, on the very, very top of my head, I am going to get a section of hair and I am going to make it into a ponytail. Now it's going to look kind of funny, but you're going to make essentially a ponytail inside of a ponytail. And this is what you're going to clip your extensions to. Now if you don't wear extensions or you don't need extensions, lucky you, but you don't need to do this step, so disregard it and fast forward. I will click a link underneath to what point you can fast forward in the video. Alright, next you're going to take your weft of hair and these ones are actually a little bit too dark for me but it works fine in like an up style because you can't really notice. Um, what you're going to do is unclip all of your clips and around that ponytail, make sure your ponytail is like standing nice and high, um, you are going to clip in your extensions literally in a circle around that ponytail. So do it as close to the base of that ponytail as you can. So showing you up here and clipping it in. And clipping it in. So try and do get it as close to the base of that ponytail as you possibly can because this is going to be sitting inside of your donut. So obviously give your extensions a brush before you put them up and in. And then just keep going around and around adding extensions. You know what I actually look like right now with this like thing going on? Um, that genie from I Dream of Genie. That's exactly what it looks like. So try and find the room to clip all of your set in because like I said, the more hair the merrier in this look. If you can't fit them all in or if you have really long hair to begin with, then don't worry about putting your whole set in. Okay, <laughs> now that you have your magical lump of extension ponytail in the middle of your head, I mean, you could just leave it like this. It looks really great. <laughs> so next, what you're going to do is gather the rest of your hair, so all of your hair, including your fake extension ponytail, into a enormous ponytail. Um, you might have to flip your head upside down for this, so I'm actually going to do that one sec. So make sure you do brush it out in the back, make sure it's nice and smooth. So smooth it all out, make sure that all of your hair is up and in there. And then we are going to take our ponytail and ponytail around that. So I like to do a bit of a smooth over with a hairspray at this point and I am using um, this Goldwell Style Fix. I absolutely hate it. I wouldn't recommend buying it but I have it and I want to use it up. It just makes your hair really crunchy. I don't like that. So give it a spray and then lift your hair up and in because it will hide it all underneath your bun if it's not completely smooth. So that's why I like to do it right now rather than at the very end step. I mean, I'll probably spray it twice, but just because when you smooth it up and under in this spot, that's where your bun's going to be, and it's going to be so large that it'll cover any um, bumps or lumps. Okay, so now it's time for your bun maker or your sock, whatever you're using. Welcome back to everybody if you skipped the last part. Okay, we're going to put that over top, 
And now there's several ways you can do this. Some people like to um, position their hair all around the outside and put an elastic band over the outside. I don't like the look of that because it looks like your hair is just feeding straight underneath. Um, I think that's cute, but I like it better when the hair is kind of swept into a bun. Totally personal preference, but I'm going to show you the way that I like to do mine because it's my tutorial. <laughs> so I am going to split it so that it's covering about half of my bun like this. And then I am going to take it from the bottom and I'm going to start to bring it around my bun. And you can take your brush as needed and try and keep the front bit down. And then just keep winding around your bun until you don't have any hair left. And then taking your bobby pins, you are going to pin into the bun. Now this might be a little bit hard if you have the extensions because it might stick into the little clips. That's totally fine. Just do it as well as you can. So try and hide the bobby pins. I think it looks nicer when you do. And you can always play around and reposition the hair to exactly how you want it. And you can pull it up from the side to cover as well. And generally that's how I have mine. And then what I do is I take the bottom and I pull it out slightly so I make it a little bit wider. And again, if you need to, take your brush and just brush up any flyaways and tuck them underneath your bun. And let's take our hairspray and spray the absolute living daylight out of your bun. And you can do a little bit to the back of your head too so your um, rat tails don't come down if you do have shorter hair. So again, just tucking in all the strays with the flyaways, just poking them in and kind of shaping them around the same shape as my bun. A nice little one right here that's not in the right shape. So you make it go in the right shape. Cause you're the boss. Don't ever forget that. Voila bun. Um, now it is time to decorate your bun. Because what's a bun without decorations? I really like using my little tiny, if I can get them undone, flower clips and sometimes I put like two of them right here and it just looks buntastic or I could use a headband and you can put it in and on like that and that looks very ballerina chic. For myself today I think that I am going to stick with this thing and I'm just going to tuck it in and under my bun a little bit so it looks like it's coming out the side. So this is what it looks like all finished guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to give a big shout out and thanks to Imogen from Foxy Locks. She was the one who did a video on how to clip in your extensions and make it look like a high ponytail. So I would not have ever been able to do this style without seeing that video first. So thumbs up Imogen, thank you. I will link her videos down below because she has the most amazing hair tutorials. I could never even come close to creating a hair tutorial like hers. So do go check them out if you do like hair tutorials. I will see you guys really, really soon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. All of my links are down below as well. I do have a P.O. box, guys, so if you do want to send me letters, please write me. I love, love, love receiving letters from you guys and hearing from you, so don't be shy. And I think that's it. I will talk to you guys so, so soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.